you go and make any mistakes, mistake, sir. I promise. No, I know every hypo, I know every sheriff in Tulsa. Okay. That's I'll, I'll, let, I'll let 40 of them go to my BFK show. The Thursday Zach Bryan was arrested in Oklahoma, and a bunch of craziness went down behind the scenes, and it's all caught on dash cam. We're going to check it out today. So here we go. It's not any of your business. If you need to get back in your truck, because you're interfering with the officer and discharge of duties right now. You need to get back in your truck or go to jail. I don't care which. I'll go to jail. I'm done. All right. Just hurry and put your hands back. Okay. Complying a little bit. So I'm back. I get to the the second thing that was happening three days. Well, he just got caught with speed and I was writing the citation. I know. I get it. I, this is my security guard. I'm just waiting for him. And it's taking. I was, I was just curious, sir. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be an I'm trying to give you an option to get back in your truck. You said you're ready to go to jail. I said you're interfering with the officer. I know. I'm smart. I said you had to be an unplugged. All right. Truly. Go back around and say, yes, sir. Sorry, sir. But this is insanely uncomfortable. I understand that, sir. We'll change them in a minute. You may be putting them on in a hurry. They really ain't built for comfort to begin with. So I didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, you did. I asked you to leave and get back in your truck, and you said you weren't going to do it. This is the second time it's happened to me in three days. The cops have just been like way too brutal on me. Stop being an option. I, 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 I know, but I'll finish up the original stop. Mm. Let me finish up this one. Mm. Yes, sir. Dude's growling. Can you please take these handcuffs off me, sir? Wait, wait, you let me finish up this traffic stop. I don't, there's no need for me to make handcuffs, actually. Yeah, you're on, right now, uh, there is, because you're interfering with my traffic stop. Sir, I will have. This is why people do not like police officers. I'm a 27 year old kid. And I said, take me to jail then. I was being smart all the guys immediately after. I know, and we'll let me finish up this. I would, I would get back to my truck right now if you let me out of these handcuffs. If you don't, it's going to be a mistake, sir. I promise. No, I know every high pole, I know every sheriff in Tulsa. Okay. I'll, I'll, let, I'll let 40 of them go to my BFK show. I know you don't give a fuck, but like, this is just insane. I didn't say that. These fucking cops are out of hand, truly. I got 18 hours to get there. He's taking 45 minutes. Beers in my club box from the other night, sitting there listening to music. They're gonna. I think the keys are in it. That's okay. Okay, so that sounded pretty intense. It sounded like Zach made a few threats to the cops and was being very aggressive, but we're about to find out the context from Zach himself so we can figure out whether it was warranted for him to have that attitude. So I want to start by saying I have to deal with the legalities of it. I did go to jail, I didn't play favorites. Um, I was an idiot today and my decisions did not reflect who I was as a person and I just want to make that clear and I should have been smarter about it but I just want to tell you guys the whole timeline whole story so there's no confusion around three days ago I was driving through this small town in Oklahoma and this is the beginning of all of it and I drive by this cop I was going like four or five over he pulls me over he comes to my window first thing he asked for is license registration uh, and my address and I told him I said hey man I don't really feel comfortable giving you my address I'm a musician and I just, I'm not comfortable with it. So he says, if you don't give me your address, I'm gonna have to take you to jail. And I'm like, man, I'm not gonna give you my address. So he tells me to step out of the vehicle. He puts handcuffs on me and uh, I'm like, man, what the hell is going on? Why are you doing this? He's like, why are you not giving me your address? So I, we talked about it. I explained to him why I ended up giving him my address. I ended up like abiding by what he was saying. We kept, we kept talking. He finally took my handcuffs off. He gave me a warning. Cause I mean, I wasn't going too fast or anything. And then he, he let me go because I just started respecting him and being cordial. But it, I think it just frustrated me a lot because I didn't know if I had a right to refuse giving him my address or not. Yeah. But I, did. And I mean, he is a know, celebrity, so that's understandable. Happened. Fast forward to today. I wake up and i tell my security guard hey man i'm gonna drive to boston today to see the birds play so we're driving to boston we get like 40 minutes away from my house we're going through Venita. he's behind me and i see him getting pulled over so i'm like oh man so he i take i go around the block and i come and i pull back up next to him and i'm just sitting there i didn't get out of the vehicle or anything i'm just sitting there waiting on him 10 to 15 minutes goes by and i get out of the car i'm like man why is this what what is taking so long and i was gonna smoke a cigarette the cop comes up to me and he's like sir get back in your vehicle and i'm like I'm not the one getting pulled over. Please, like, what do you... He's like, get back in your vehicle or I'm going to have to take you to jail. Like a dumbass, I said, take me to in jail? What do you mean? He was like, take you to jail. And I was like, damn. Uh, I get too lippy with him. He brings me over to his car. I, I just didn't help my situation at all. I felt like a child. Nah. It was ridiculous. It was immature. And I just pray everyone knows that I don't think I'm above the law. I was just being disrespectful and I shouldn't have been. And it was my mistake. He gets me in these cuffs, man, and they're tight. And he puts me in his front seat. Yeah. 
and we're just all going back and forth. I'm like, man, these cuffs hurt. He's like, they're, they're, he's like, they're not supposed to be comfortable. He was just being a cop, you know? And so I'm just getting more angry and angry, which is like the worst thing you could possibly do. <laughs> so 15 minutes goes by, they finally let me out of the vehicle and I'm like just mouthing off like an idiot, like, a, like an actual child. I'm like, man, someone's gotta get a hold of you guys. This is like, why are you using your authority like this? This is so wrong. When in reality, they were just doing their jobs. I was upset. He, he looks at me, he says, hey man, I'm gonna tell you this and if you, like, don't interrupt me. And I was like, well, after you're done, I'm gonna say my piece. He's like, okay, he started talking, I interrupted him naturally because I was just angry. So he said, I'm gonna take you to jail. And he, he took me to jail. And um, I was in jail for a few hours. Uh, when I got there, it kind of like lightened up because I just kind of cooled off a little bit. I was talking to the book people booking me. Everyone was super kind. I was in my jail cell for a while, and uh, the cop and me eventually shook hands. So a few things here. He said they weren't going to play favorites, and of course, because it doesn't matter that you're a celebrity. So I think there was a slight entitlement that came from him at the beginning. When a cop pulls someone over, I don't think that you're allowed going over to the car and just entering the vehicle that was getting pulled over. And you know, he has to comply like everybody else, and he started giving the cop attitude. You know, cops are annoying, but unfortunately they're doing their job, like he said. I mean, I guess the apology was good. He probably just needs to work on his attitude a little bit. But yeah, with the address thing, he is a celebrity, so it's hard because you don't want to give out your address because you just don't know what kind of corrupt cop could start spreading around the address and next thing you know, word of mouth, your address gets out, you get doxxed. Probably why you wanted to keep the address private. But yeah, overall, I don't think it was a crazy situation or anything, but also he did mention that he had empty beer cans in his vehicle, but I guess previously he was sitting in his driveway listening to music because the sound system was good in the vehicle and that's why he had some beers and everything. So those were just empty cans left over. So no DUIs. But I'd like to know what you guys think. Do you think the cop was in the wrong? Do you think Zach was being over the top? Let me know in those comments below. I appreciate you guys a lot and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.